it's 4.33 in the morning. And I was supposed to have left work at 3 a.m. So I thought I would start the vlog today right now since technically it's Friday morning and it's early and I have yet to be asleep for the night so this is gonna be an interesting day I'll probably um, probably be getting my sleep in little chunks today somehow so the ER was insanely busy it was definitely one of those shifts where you question your sanity for working in an ER and all the ER shows that you've ever seen pale in comparison to the things that happened you know what I'm saying it's just like oh my gosh craziness 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 but I survived it and I worked an hour and a half over because the manager that came in begged me to pretty much <laughs> so I stayed to help them out against my better judgment. <laughs> I mean, I definitely wanted to help them out, but I also have, you know, a baby who is going to be up early and a husband that will need to go to work. And, um, thankfully I have some teenage boys who have not yet started school for the year and will be home tomorrow and are very capable of helping me take care of the baby and the other kids while I sleep a little bit later in the morning. So that's the plan. I'm going to try to let them help me with the baby so that I can get, you know, maybe four hours or so, five hours maybe if I'm lucky. And then maybe later tomorrow afternoon or evening, catch another hour or so. So... I'll catch up at some point, or maybe I'll just push through. We'll see. But, nonetheless, I survived, and I'm happy <laughs> that it is over. Even the doctor was shedding a few tears tonight because it was just brutal. Brutal. But anyway. Um, yeah. I'm actually really, 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 really happy that homeschooling has gone so well this week and so I'm not worried in the slightest about getting that done tomorrow so far it has been extremely easy to get schoolwork done um it has not been overly burdensome Mason and Maddie are doing amazing with their curriculum I am so proud of them They've been really, 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 really good. Our All of our subjects are getting crossed off. And I don't know, like things are just really working well this first week of school. And I feel really, really good about it. This is probably the first time since I have been a homeschool mom that I feel like things are just smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I need to do. The kids kind of know what they need to do. Um, it just feels so much smoother. And I'm not sure if it was because I spent more time planning or maybe the curriculum choices are just a little better for us this year. Um, I love The Good and the Beautiful. I know there's a ton of YouTube videos about the good and the beautiful, but I'll probably do one myself because I just love it that much. So, um, definitely, like, I feel like that has opened up a whole new world for us as far as our curriculum goes and our language arts and all of this is just clicking, especially for Mason, who has been my reluctant reader and my very reluctant schooler. <laughs> It's been a challenge, and he's kind of drug his feet for through most of it thus far. And this year, he's in third grade. He is just, I mean, it's just like things are clicking, you know. He's eight years old, and I don't know. Like, I think he's just ready, and things are going so much better. I know it's just the first week, but it's just truly amazing how wonderful it has been. So, I can't wait to share more about that with you guys because I am really excited about it. Um, Maddie's 
doing very well. She's also using the Good and the Beautiful pre-K. I'm a little <clears throat> on the fence with that curriculum just because um, I knew it was going to be a little easy for her. But I knew that we needed it to solidify the, her, you know, letters and sounds. Letter recognition and sounds. But that's really it, you know. Like the other stuff she knows. She can already count to a hundred. She knows all of her shapes and colors. And she like knows all of the preschool stuff. So a lot of the things that this curriculum, you know, teaches. Um, a lot of it she knows. So I think. I'm going to try it for a little bit and then see how it goes. But if I feel like it's really, you know, too easy for her, then I might just bump her up to the kindergarten curriculum and then pull the letter recognition stuff um, kind of out from the pre-K and just kind of infiltrate both of them kind of together. I'm not sure how that would work, but I'm going to see, see how it goes and see what I need to do. Um, if I continue to feel like it's just really way too easy. So that's where I'm at with that, but it's going really well. We're reading, um, read alouds are the secret of the hidden scrolls. Love those books. If you haven't seen those, go to my Instagram. It's christy.organizedmom. Excuse me. Check it out. Check out those books. I just did a book giveaway with the author, Mike Thomas. It has opened up a whole new world for my kids and learning Bible stories and it's just exciting and the kids love the storyline and the books are short um, so they're um, easy enough for the kids to not lose interest and like Mason can even do um, reading from the book and everything so I really really like that series there's four books so far in the series I'm sure he'll be doing more but you guys need to check that out um, go to my Instagram, christy.organizedmom, and take a peek at the what the books look like. And hopefully I'll be doing a little video um, about those a little bit more in depth here pretty soon. If I can find the time. And this air conditioner is really cold. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say to get this video started. I'll be vlogging today, so I wanted to do a little howdy and intro at 4 40 in the morning i'm gonna go home i am going to literally as fast as i can brush my teeth take my contacts out and get into my pjs and fly into the bed i'm gonna soar and leap <laughs> straight into my bed i'm hoping that solomon decides to sleep late today that is not something he's been doing lately let's just pray that he does so anyway, I'm going to drive, and I will see you guys in a few hours. Hello, you guys. So, I got home about 5.15, close to 5.30, and I uh, went straight to sleep, and baby got up at about 8.20 or so, and so I helped Jimmy get him fed, and... I helped get Jake up so he could help watch the baby for just a little bit while I slept for a couple more hours. So I ended up getting sleep from about 5.30 to 8.30 and then again from about 9 to 11. So I'll call that a win. I can function off of, you know, five hours of sleep. Some days, some days I can't. So hooray for that. So I am up and drinking coffee. I have fed the little baby, just put him down for a nap and I'm getting ready to shower here in a minute and get ready so that we can do our school shopping today because I also have to work this weekend. So I've got a lot to do on my to-do list. I've got to print off the kids' school supply list, which, um, I got a good bit of it earlier, and there's still some minor things that need to be done, and some clothes that need to be bought. So that will take place today, and we're also going, since Jake missed orientation at the high school yesterday, we're gonna go to 
the high school and we are gonna do our own little tour of the high school. So I can't remember if I just poured this coffee creamer in my coffee or not. I don't think I did. Um, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna, she said she would give us a map and let us just walk around the high school so that he will be familiar with the school prior to the first day. So all of that has to happen today. Thank God for the pressure cooker because that's going to be my saving grace. And Mason, he must have known that I got home really early, last, early, really late last night because he has been doing all the dishes by hand and being just the best, best worker. I have it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Such a good boy. So he's really helping me out this morning and I was able to put his act of kindness on our fruits of the spirit board that we started so he's definitely portraying kindness what are you doing okay so i'm gonna shower here in a minute jake just got out of the shower and so i'm waiting for the hot water to kind of build back up so i'm gonna finish drinking a little bit of coffee I might indulge in just some mindless YouTube videos for just a minute and continue to wake up because <laughs> last night was a doozy, but that's all right. We're going to keep on trucking. So my coffee drinking time is over. The house is nice and clean. Mason did a phenomenal job and he's finally sitting down to eat. And I am going to go upstairs. I've got my arms full of my clean laundry. I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready for the day. I am ready for the day and dressed and she is dressed. We gotta get some adult lipstick off her face though. <laughs> and the baby is still asleep. So we're gonna need to try to get him up and get him ready and get out of this house because it is almost 1.30. So we are going into the high school and we are gonna do a quick, we are doing a self-guided tour through the high school. This place is huge. Is that the doctor's Training room. Oh. Gavin's most excited about the gym. It's huge. Are you most excited about anything? Mason's watch? Oh, bye, bye, bye. Oh, is that what's most exciting? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do do. <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't want to be sad. <laughs> Apparently, the practice gym. We have officially walked through, I think, the entire school. And it is huge, huge, huge. In this section in particular, we've been stopped twice by two different teachers asking if we had permission to tour Illegal. the school. I guess they think we're illegally touring the school. <laughs> but, we're legal. But we are legal. We do have permission. So we are done, and I'm just exhausted walking through the school. It is so big. It probably is three times the size of my house. So we did our tour and then we left there and went home and dad was through with his work day so we picked him up everybody was starving so we just finished eating at chick-fil-a and there's all the kiddos i'm eating ice cream maddie's eating some ice cream it's so hot today dad's getting gas because i was getting ready to run out of gas we're gonna run by the bank and then we're gonna go do some school shopping so um gavin needs some outfits and um we still have to get some supplies, do all that stuff. So all of that has to be completed by today since I'm working this weekend. So we went into Marshall's and Gavin only got a few things. Okay. And we are now at Target because I need to try and find Maddie some things, but Maddie has this little like sensory issue with clothes. And so we're having no luck here. So, I wonder if there's any like websites for clothes like that specifically. Oh yeah, that's why you know, mom. We need shoes. You need shoes. So we're gonna go look at shoes. And Solomon's giving us a run for our money. 
Oh, I didn't know you got those. He's having goldfish and little crunchies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He was like, what? He's like, from what? What's wrong, dude? Did you get I'm choked? Tired. Are you tired? Did you get choked? We all have red eyes today. Everybody's sleepy. Is everybody sleepy? Are you sleepy? I think he got choked. Actually, I got this. Oh, I'm sweating. You get on the front Oh my gosh. Does she like these? Oh. Maybe. Bring them over. I guess. These are boots. Um, I want to wear them. Why? Because my feet always get stuck in there. Buggy back. And I am tired of shopping. So I am so excited, you guys. I came home to my Osborne books. And I am going through them. I am super excited. I did end up ordering this library. It's my first reading library. Since I've got a couple more new little readers coming up. Maddie um, needed some good readers. And they, these books look amazing. They're perfect for new readers. So they get a little more difficult as the colors change. I also got the Timelines of World History book, which is really awesome. I'm going to show these books in more detail um, in a future video, but for now, I'm going to give you a quick glance inside. This is perfect for our timeline song and going through history. I also got Usborne Books of Famous Paintings. This one I think I'm most excited about. It goes through famous paintings and gives all the detail about it. That's something that we really haven't studied a whole lot. I also got the Book of Growing Food. And I thought this would be so fun to do with the kids um, in our morning basket. So we're going to go through this book and kind of learn about how to grow different kinds of foods and what we need to do. And then this book is the outdoor book, the Usborne outdoor book, which I really like for like nature study. Um, so it goes through different things. This one is exploring ponds, rivers, and seas. And I have a baby crying. So at the riverbank, things you can discover. Um, hunting creatures. I like this. I think this is going to be really, really fun. And then the last thing I got was the Usborne Illustrated Stories from the Greek Myths. Since we are covering some of that this year, this is a really thick book. And then it's got a lot of the Greek Myths. And it puts it with some really awesome illustrations. And I think the kids will be enjoying that. <laughs> really? Maddie's been dragging out clothes as usual. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. 